What's going on guys? I hope we're all doing well, my fellow Sasquatches. So we've got this new AI tool. It's called Recraft AI. You've probably heard it or seen other videos about it. In a nutshell, it's an image generation design tool similar to Canva AI, but it has its own unique features. Now this may not be a tool that you use or you may need to use. However, I think it's still important to understand these new tools that come out and what they can do. All right, first let's go to the website and this is what you can see at first, okay? So you'll have the option here, which is projects. If you click community, you'll see other generations by other creators. You go to favorites, I haven't even used this yet, but it looks like you can favorite your own generations or other people's history. So let's stay in projects. And the first thing that you'll see is these how-to tutorials. And when you click into them, you can actually see examples and steps in how to use the actual feature. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it anyway in this video, but if you do get stuck, you can obviously go there and it'll be able to help you. So let's create a new project first, okay? So this is what you see. You'll see all the options on the left here, image, frame, and mock-up, and image set. First, let's test out the image generation tool. So let's click into it, and you'll see here you'll have a box. Now, when you click into the box, you'll see that there's an option here to enter a prompt. There's an option here when you click into it, you can choose the style of the image you're generating. You've also got the option here to select the aspect ratio. Let's stay with one by one for now. And over here at the bottom, you can decide how many images are going to be generated. All right, so let's generate our first image. So I'm just gonna enter this prompt and I'm gonna click recraft. All right, so this is the image that it generated. And if you click down at the bottom, this is the two images that were generated that I can select from. Now on the canvas, you have the option to drag this and it can control the size of the actual image. If you want to control the aspect ratio, so let's change this to 16 by nine. You see now that it's been cut off, that's okay. Let's click recraft. All right, so now it's generated the image again and it's in 16 by nine. Now a cool feature, if you wanna zoom in, hold control and your scroll wheel and scroll forward. Love that feature. And if you wanna move around, press the scroll button and then just it'll be able to move around the actual canvas itself. Now let's select this image, control C and press control V. Okay, now we've got two images, okay? So let's go to the second one. Let's click a different style, okay? So let's click, what do we wanna test out? Let's try uh, this one here, clay. So we click apply and now you can see that that's been selected. Let's click recraft. And whilst that's generating, let's do one more. So this one's been generated and what was this clay? Okay, so I don't, you know, I don't know. I've never used clay before, but these are the two options, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, let's actually change this one once more. Let's try a uh, bold sketch. Let's apply that one and let's click recraft on the original one. Now the line and fill option has generated as well. Yeah, which is kind of cool. And here's the uh, bold sketch option as well. So, uh, you know, I'm just, showing you guys the different styles as well that you can select. Now this next feature is called mock-up and it's really good for logo placements on products. So let's click mock-up, okay? And then you can see there, it's generated the box, let's zoom in. Now it gives us an option to enter a specific prompt to generate an image. That's the first thing we need to do. Let's just go with what it says. So white t-shirt and let's click recraft. All right, so this is the image that it generated and you can see there, there's actually a green box as well. So when you click on the image, you can see the prompt that was used. And when you click into this, this is where we can enter the prompt for the logo or design that we wanna add onto the image. Let me show you. All right, so this is what I wrote. I wrote AI Tech Realm in black text with a cool futuristic logo. This is just to show you guys what it does. So let's click recraft. All right, so this is the actual images that are generated, okay? So it's going for a purple look, but just to give you an idea, see, like I can now control like what it will look like on the shirt. So obviously it's not the design, I'm just showing you guys how it works, but yeah, this is sort of used for product design. Now I've already generated a bunch of products for clothing and items. I'm just gonna show you this cool feature, okay, that I use with ChatGPT. So let's select all of these. All right, let me grab ChatGPT. So I've given ChatGPT all of the images and I just said, give me a prompt that will generate AI Tech Realm in text that will go with all of the designs. All right, let's do the black hoodie first. So it's giving me this prompt. Let's grab this, okay, and let's head over here. Uh, it's doing a neon blue with a purple gradient. 
I don't know why it keeps going with that color, but let's just do it anyway. Now, whilst that one is generating, let's go to the red cap. Let's enter the prompt for the red cap as well and press recraft. Uh, the white shirt as well also has one as well. Let's try that. All right, so now it's generated three of them. Let's go to the cap for the time being. Okay, so all right, so <laughs> it's a red cap, but it's sort of done this white logo as well. And this is why I'm not really good at logo design, but you can see there how you can sort of can control where on the actual cap it goes. Uh, you know, this might not be the right uh, logo color as well, but it's just to show you guys what it can do. Like maybe if I just, I'm just gonna do this, okay. There we go. <laughs> All right, what about the black hoodie? Now you can see there the black, it's not really the black that matches, but I don't know. Sometimes you see different uh, color logos that go on shirts. Like, I don't know, maybe this. Let's see what the other one looks like as well. I don't know. It's not, for me, it's not the best one, but it's really just to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, oh, this one's actually not too bad. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Let's go like this. Let's see if we can increase it. Okay. Yeah, and I keep running into this problem where the white shirt and the actual logo is a little bit different. Sometimes I click on here, adjust colors and change some of the, uh, like some of the saturation and the brightness and it sort of helps me blend in. But this is the part where I'm not really that good at it yet, but you may be, especially if you've used tools similar to this. All right, what's next? Now we have the coffee mug. So it's gone with this color. Let's, you know what? Let's just try to do the whole thing as well. See, you know, this is why like it's good, but there's some parts here that are white and even at the back as well, you know? So I don't know, I haven't perfected it yet, but all right, so I'm just playing around with it. Yeah, let's try to just, I don't know. I'll try to cover the whole thing just to see if like, yeah, there we go. Obviously, you can't really see all of it, but when you're holding the bottle, you'll be able to see the logo. But yeah, that's just one idea. What about this one? Okay, it's a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, and obviously, it's not really matching the color of the um, actual bottle itself, but that's something you can control in the prompt as well. What do we got next? The phone cover. All right, let's have a look. So let's uh, flip this this way. You know what? Maybe this is one product that we might be able to get away with. Okay, what? <laughs> just some random there we go <laughs> looks like let's be honest every single one that i've just now generated has been absolutely shit um this one actually generated the bag so that's not what i want but <laughs> like you know what if I, let's just say it didn't have the bag and if you were just going with that there you go that is beautiful what do we got next we got a mouse pad okay this one might be interesting let's go like this let's uh increase it <laughs> this yeah here we go this is the mouse pad that i need um, there we go. And if you want, you can go and just change the actual aspect ratio to make it easier. All right, now the last feature is called frame. So let's click into it and you can control the aspect ratio. Let's go one by one. All right, so let's click out of it. Let's now grab maybe an image one. Let's go over here on the right. Now, now before we generate the image, let's add some text, okay? So let's go here and let's say uh, the hippo was very thirsty. Now let's resize the text and let's try to fit it on this. And you know what we'll do, we'll zoom in. All right, so the hippo was very thirsty, okay? Let's grab that, let's go to the image and let's click recraft and generate an image. All right, so now we have our image of our hippo, our very thirsty hippo. Let's go over here, let's drag it. I want you guys to highlight both of them and I want you to click recraft and check out this magic. All right, so what it did, it grabbed the text that I gave it, it grabbed the image and it's now spit out this thing here, which looks amazing. If I just make it like you can choose now between both of these images as well. See how the text changes as well. So I don't know, this is like kind of cool that it was able to sort of just figure it out and and make one image like together and it I think it would be really good for storybooks maybe so what are my final thoughts on this product I want to make it very clear that I'm not someone that uses Canva or something similar to this the most I would use it is Photoshop and I'd create my thumbnails on there, but it's a little bit different. I think it's an interesting tool to use, especially if you're someone that's trying to create a logo or a design for a product, or if you're maybe creating storybooks, that last feature that we use is really useful as well. So, but all in all, I'm actually quite impressed. It's actually a very simple product to learn. 
Uh, so I will give this product, I don't know, maybe an eight out of 10, but that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.